fragile. This thing is huge. Hello. Many Bitcoin miners just went water cooled. This is the Nerdax Hydro, specifically designed off of the Nerd QX Plus Mini Bitcoin Miner. This is not a single chip miner. This is not a dual ASIC Bitcoin mining rig chip. It's got four BM1368 ASIC chips in it to mine Bitcoin, all while being cooled with water. It's supposed to mine Bitcoin at 2.5 terahash a second, all while achieving a pretty efficient Bitcoin mining rate of 20 joules or watts per terahash. What's interesting is it even comes with a setup guide based on your ambient temperature. It's in Celsius though. Sorry, Dennis. Yo, I'm Voss here on the Voscoin YouTube channel. You may know me as that dude building a Bitcoin mining farm. Yeah, that's true. So why do I have a mini Bitcoin miner? Well, when they told me that the bid axes and nerd axes and other little mini Bitcoin miners that mine BTC over Wi-Fi, we're going hydro, we're getting liquid cooled. I had to see for myself. I'm pretty impressed with the unboxing experience on this. I'll talk more about where I got this, how to get the best deal on these and so forth later on in this video, if you want one. But let's, let's analyze this thing to see if you probably even want one anyway before I waste time telling you how and where to get it. Initial impression of the boxing to the hydro cooler or water cooler here using an all-in-one type. Branding printed on the screen. It's obviously gonna be RGB when you get the little Chinese RGB controller there. And uh, just all blacked out like a funeral. It's nice, it's clean, it's sleek. I didn't expect much of it, but the initial impressions in person, this thing's pretty sick. But is it worth it? Nice big blacked out heat exchanger here, radiator type, bunch of fins here in there, nice smoothing on the outside. It's all put together little rubber sticky feet there on the bottom. It's, it's very much a plug and play experience uh, when I don't have to do anything. I, I take this out of the box and can just paste my Bitcoin address in here and start earning. You may think, huh, uh, do I unplug this or what, what do I do? Well, this is a nerd ax, so it's a bit ax with an upgraded screen which is really based and built out of uh, enhanced upon that $50 Bitcoin miner that we reviewed a while ago, which is basically just mining with a little screen. Uh, but when you look closer, we got a power port right there. Actually, you know what? That one on there. Plug and play Bitcoin miner. Comes with a power supply. Miki AC adapter, 100 to 240 voltage, 12 voltage output, right? This is not a five volt miner. To be very clear, 10 amps at 12 volts, 120 watts, 50, 60 hertz, indoor use only. I like the low mount here on this uh, power connection. Oh man, can you hear that? I can hear the liquid, that's weird. Listen. I gotta say the colors look so much cooler and more vibrant in person. And the actual cooler looks much more like the RGB fan does showing up on video to the human eye. Like, like this blue more or less matches this blue. But here, but I see on camera, it, it doesn't really look that way. And not a big pink purple guy, but it's a good shade. It's kind of cool. Red's always looking fierce. And you can't miss with orange when you're mining Bitcoin. Oh man, don't show Alexa, this is totally the Miss Mosque purple color. She'll steal this from me. Hey, you wanna buy a mining rig? Do you want a pretty good price on it and pretty fast shipping? Then you may be looking for ASIC Marketplace. Click our link in the video description below to not only support our channel, but support yourself with the coupon code we've got right next to it. So you can do this on your computer, you can do this on your laptop, you can do this on your phone. So I click over uh, to Wi-Fi, my NerdX, NerdQX Plus technically, which is the powerhouse of this NerdX Hydro here, generating a Wi-Fi signal. 
So I pasted my Bitcoin address. Uh, for this test, I'm going to show solo.ckpool.org and the associated port here, 3333. And uh, for a fallback stratum, I'll just use uh, my Bitcoin node that's running my own private uh, Bitcoin mining pool using a public pool instance there. And I'll see if umbrolocal.works or if I need to put the exact IP address in there. Uh, so I've input my mining pool information here. Quick and easy. Now I'll go to my Wi-Fi. My Wi-Fi here is called Planetary Fortress. Put my password in. Save. Restart. I'll do that and it will you know, kick me out. At that point we should have a connection and we should be mining. If you've used a Bitax or Nerdax or even a Nerd Miner before, same thing. All right, so while this thing fires up, let me continue our initial testing review here. Where'd I get this? So shout out to Solo Satoshi. Got this into my hands quick and early. We have an affiliate link to order Nerd X Hydros through Solo Satoshi. I'll have that linked out in the video description below. You could go to nerdaxhydro.com and order these directly. However, they have them listed at the same price as Solo Satoshi, and we were able to get a 10% coupon code, code VOSCOIN, to save some coin to share with you guys. So you support the channel by using the Solo Satoshi link, and you get a better deal on it. So with that in mind, and if you enjoy this content, I would simply please ask if you could use our link and why not also use the discount code? So this took about five to 10 minutes to ramp up to speed here. It's consistently hitting about its uh, advertised hash rate here, about uh, 2.5 terahash a second or 2,500 giga hash a second. You can see the uh, stock settings I am using out of the box here. Uh, now that it's been running, I expect it to feel more heat around this device, but even with four chip in the equation, it's barely even warm. You can hear it, it's quiet, not silent. Not the quietest miner we've ever had, but this could totally sit in your room, in your office. This would annoy me on a desk, barely. Could be tweaked to get the fan speed down some. In the defense of this Nerdax Hydro, it is, it's 86 degrees Fahrenheit here in the garage. So pretty warm, pretty toasty, probably like 40 something percent humidity. I know that because I run a dehumidifier in here. One day I want to sit down and figure out a mini split plan to just have nice AC in here and maybe adjust the garage doors a little bit to get a better seal. Uh, they're insulated doors, so I already took care of the hard and expensive part. The Nerdax Hydro is sweet, no doubt about it. 450 before 10% off, let's just call it a $400 mining rig. The problem is at 400 bucks, I would rather buy the Nerd QX++ for a similar price point and get double the hash rate. Or I'd rather just buy three Bitax Gammas, which would bring me to a price around like 350, and I would have 3.3 terahash a second uh, for less money at a lower cost and a higher hash rate, but I have to be excited to some degree about this device just for the simple fact that it's hydro cooled, and that is cool. Plus, I'm a sucker for RGB. I just feel like there's a huge mistake with the assembly though, that these lines should be over here. Like I can't appreciate the cool faceplate. It, it's, it's hidden, it lives, it lives behind these hoses. Get a sticker though. If you know Bitronics, uh, they've been working on something similar for a while. So they've got some Hydra stuff in the pipeline as well. You know what color I'm clicking. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I like that. Green baby. Dude, this thing's really cool, but, and it has a great novelty factor and that could be worth a price premium. You know, I, I like that we have the screen on here. It is tracking Bitcoin's price properly, which is nice to see. You see the minor hash rate, you see the minor temperature, and you see uh, Bitcoin's price there in real time. So that's one of the coolest things about the Nerdax screen that you'll see on all the Nerdax, NerdQX, plus whatever, minus and dingle bingles, is that they have these screens and it's got more features and that's really what steps it up over, say, a typical uh, Bitax there. Pretty much since it powered on, it's been hitting at about 62 watts. 
at the wall. I find the joules or watts per terahash to be completely wrong because here at the wall, that would be about 25 watts or joules per terahash, uh, not uh, 20 joules per terahash as, as you see there. That's a pretty big misnomer. It doesn't really matter. I mean, we're only hitting at 50% usage of this power supply. 20, 40, 50 watts don't really matter on the mini Bitcoin mining scale. Uh, this thing is a really cool way to start mining Bitcoin in your home over Wi-Fi. It's nearly plug and play. If you don't have a Bitcoin wallet, which you should, I mean, download a free hot wallet like Exodus app on your phone. Uh, you can buy a hardware wallet. It's a better solution, something like a Trezor Model T, or you can be lazy and trust someone else with your money. Sign up for Coinbase and get a Bitcoin deposit address. I mean, you can get, even get that on Robinhood these days, crazy. Uh, this thing's really cool. Um, I'm, in, I'm impressed with it. I like it, the fit and finish, spectacular. The unboxing, pretty, very nice. I mean, you know, black box was cool. Black foam was cool. Black casing, it's, it's pretty much blacked out with RGB. I love the aesthetic. It was packaged well, anti-static bag, uh, power supply, nice and new. I mean, this is pretty much everything you could ask for. I just would think that we would honestly be getting a Nerd QX++ at this price point. And you know, this is their first model and release and it may be easier, more exciting to see if that interest and demand is there using the BM1368 ASIC chips, which it's using previous generation Bitcoin mining chips, the BM1368s over the BM1370s. So I'd love to see this thing using BM1370s. It has t obviously tons of cooling capabilities. Now this is finally getting a little warm, uh, but I mean, barely warm to the touch, honestly, all things considered. And if nothing else, it's a cool engineering feat to see an open source Bitcoin miner with uh, open source hardware, open source software, utilizing a liquid cooled setup. So it's not for me. I would buy those other miners in the same category. If, if I had another thousand dollars to spend, I'd be looking at the Canon Avalon Q. It may not be open sourced, but it is current generation Bitcoin mining efficiency. Plug it into any outlet in your house, probably 1600 watts, 90 terahash a second. You can pool mine with this miner, but what is the point of that? And let me tell you, spoiler, there is none. So it's all about solo mining. And that's basically using this as like a lottery ticket to try to hit a Bitcoin block every day, every block for in perpetuity until this thing stops running. So it, you can check your odds in real time if you head over to sololuck.com. It's the best Bitcoin solo mining calculator the world has ever seen. Did I sell out to them? No, we made it and I'm really proud of it. I think we did a great job. Specifically, the Voscoin team built this, not just me. And I'm so proud of them and what we created. So 2.5 terahash a second on there gives us a one in 2.4 million chance every day or one in 6,614 chance over the next year to essentially turn $400 into $300,000. 44 and 120 dollars so that would be quite a return you'll never 1000x on your bitcoin investment at this stage of the game but you could 1000x your investment with luck right also that's odds it's not guaranteed solo mining with a mini bitcoin miner and hitting that bitcoin block nerdax hydro super cool not for me maybe for you links out in the video description below again i am bosk Appreciate you tuning in and uh, let's close this out in style with 10 seconds of tails. Our SCP, our super cutie pup, who's also our CBO, our chief Bitcoin officer here at the Voscoin YouTube channel. Good luck, goodbye, and please comment with which mini Bitcoin miner you're the most interested in and why and what should our next giveaway be.